So we're here at Wakaiwa State Park in Florida, and we decided that we would have a good time since we're always talking about things like sardines and spam and oysters and, you know, liver, stuff like that. We decided that it would be a lot of fun to do a keto camping fear factor featuring canned products. Ugh. So we're going to try things today like sardines, potted meat, deviled ham, Vienna sausage, spam, and canned corned beef. This is supposed to be a vacation. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So... Over the last three years, we've talked about different types of keto foods to that avoid. don't sound very appetizing, and but they're keto, right? There seems like a lot. And some of them are very healthy for you. Things like sardines and anchovies, they are super healthy for you. Other products, they may not be healthy for you. They are super processed foods, but they are edible on keto and great are if, they? You, if you just like don't have anything else. Maybe if you have a hurricane or you need to have a little stockpile for like an earthquake or something like that. Eat grubs. Also, like Dr. Barry says all the time, you can do keto on hot dogs and mustard. Can we do that right now? Well, over the next do hot dogs and six mustard. days, while we're camping here at Wakaiwa State Park in Florida, we're going to each day try a different keto-friendly canned food. I don't want to be friendly with so, these keto products. So here's what we have. We have some wild planet, wild sardines. These are skinless and boneless. So that's actually a plus Something. right there. No skin, no bones on these sardines. Do I have to eat everything raw? Yeah. Well, no, we're going to, we're going to heat up some of this, but all of this is edible right out of the can. Is it? We have some potted meat. What is that? Uh, this is made with chicken and pork added. I can't read it, but it's basically mechanically separated chicken and pork. We have no. Rachel's favorite. No. Spam. I, and we got the good stuff. We didn't is get it the, the good stuff, though. We didn't get the no name brand spam. Oh, dear Lord. Do you mean there's knockoffs? Of course there is. What is this, like, known as? Like a, a potted meat? I have no idea. Just whatever's a square shape. The late addition to this, we were looking for canned oysters, and both of us were just like, I just can't do it. I, I can't do the canned oysters. I don't think we'll ever recover. Regular oysters look like snot. I, I don't think I could eat canned oysters. Okay, so the latest addition is a deviled ham spread. Deviled. Then we have, this is Rachel's edition. This is my add-on. Vienna sausages. Because Joe's never had it. I've never had a Vienna sausage. I mean, I don't want to eat it either. It's disgusting, as I remember. And then the final product is a canned corned beef. Wow. So, a little bit about it. All of these products are less than one total carb per serving. That's kind of amazing, honestly. So, every one of these, though they may be processed, though they may have a little bit of sugar added into them are completely edible on keto. For example, the corned beef has some sugar in it. I'm pretty sure the Spam has some sugar in it. I don't know what's in deviled ham. I haven't even looked. But there is two servings in this the can. Devil's in there. And it is one carb per serving. Are you ready to get this started? No. Let's do something else. Okay, I know we're waiting for our chili. It's time for the very first episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor. Oh no. Oh, we're starting with spam. Two ways. Is one better than the other? What are these ways? So in today's episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor, we're gonna have spam. Ugh. Two ways. So the first way, I'll let you have that one first. This is spam 
cooked on an open fire on a stick. Oh lord. Funny part is, is while it was there, it was actually catching on fire. You want this one? Mm. No? Huh. It actually, surprisingly, does not taste that bad. It's pretty good. That way, it kind of tastes like the fat you get on bacon. Yeah, very salty. Sorry about the sweat, but we're cooking chili. I am shocked. I am absolutely shocked that this is not terrible. <laughs> Let me Wanna... try the other one though. Okay, second way is grilled on the Blackstone griddle until it was nice and crusty. I prefer it this way. I don't know. I kind of like it because it's kind of fatty still. Wow. I am blown away. Please, Lord, let everything that we eat this week be this surprisingly good. Okay, so spam an emergency. Yay or nay? Yay. I vote yay. I've got my drink ready because it's time for the second installment of Camping Fear Factor. It's Vienna Sausage Day! Vienna Sausage. I love you! <laughs> okay, let me get closer to you. Be my friends! We gotta have a drink because I have a feeling I'm gonna need something very quickly to wash this out of my mouth. You're gonna love me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We gotta pop the top. So, again, this is the second installment of Camping Fear Factor where we're trying different canned foods that are keto friendly. Okay, so it is warmish out. So and we're it, not heating these things up for some not, reason. Well, instead of it being what like- What is that? Oh my gosh, it smells like dog food. Oh yeah, it really does. So instead of it being like gelatinous, it's a little soupy. Oh my God, is that supposed to be like a jelly? It's supposed to be like a jelly. Oh my gosh. Ew. Here you go. It's a little baby wiener. Wait, you wanna dink it? Oh, it smells. It smells like dog food. It really does. That's exactly how I remember it smelling. <laughs> wow. Okay, so. Blah, 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 blah. So it, it, it reminds me of the hot dogs I grew up with because the we- The lips and buttholes ones? We ate the lips and buttholes hot dogs. We Me never jumbo. got the beef hot dogs. Ugh. Why are we doing this to babies? Stop doing this to babies. Um, it's got a weird aftertaste. Like when I first taste it, I'm like, okay, it's a lips and buttholes like- a Hot dog. Hot dog. Like just, you know, the, the chicken, beef, and pork combination hot dog. But then there's some kind of like aftertaste to there it. There is. I can't eat that. Like it's got. I was impressed with spam, but it, yeah, I was so blown away by spam. Okay, I need a drink. But this has got chicken, chicken broth, water, salt, spices, beef, pork, sugar, sodium phosphate, sodium erythrobate, flavoring with with, with no what explanation. Is what is flavoring? Probably the aftertaste. We actually inject this with an aftertaste. Sodium nitrate and garlic powder. Okay, so again, just like we're making a little clarification. The entire can though is 160 calories, only one carb, 13 grams of fat, and 10 grams of protein. So even if you want to round up, because we always, you know, companies round down, so we round up and say it's two total carbs. What I was starting to say, just a little clarification. These are keto friendly. It doesn't mean that they're clean keto. It means if in a pinch One, you two, can't get your hand on a steak, this will do, according to Dr. Barry as well. Seven of these in a serving. So a very hearty serving. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to this one. So we have another Fear Factor challenge. Joe says that he doesn't think anything is going to be worse tasting than the Vienna sausage. That stuff was pretty bad. So I really wanted to save this one for last, but Rachel's telling me with. that like, I'm telling you the Vienna sausage isn't as bad as you think it is compared to some of this other stuff. So this is actually a very healthy 
keto friendly. I am not product. looking forward to this. And this is good ones too. This is the Wild Planet Wild Sardines. And I know a lot of people like sardines. Just for me, I don't know. I'm not a fish eater to begin with. <laughs> the thought of eating sardines like in a can. But these are supposed to be much better. First of all, these are sustainably caught. And I know they're very healthy for you. You get lots of omega-3s with them. These are skinless and boneless. This has got to be the best shot for them. So, serving size, the whole can, three ounces, 140 calories, drained by the way. Like, is there a bonus if you drink the fish juice? Good lord, no. 140 calories, seven grams of fat, I'm not 20 looking for grams this. of protein, zero total carbohydrates. And that's if you eat the whole can. Eat the whole can. Oh, should Where's we, the drink? Can we drain this? Oh. Wow. Honestly, it smells better than the Vienna sausage. It does smell better than the Vienna sausage. The Vienna sausage was ripe. Oh my gosh, these are these are chunky. Chunky. Come on. Come out here here. Oh wow, that's a lot. Or we have to eat a whole log. So here you go. Now again, I don't like fish. It smells like tuna y. You ready? Doop. Oh. Oh wow. That is fishy. Fishy. Wow. That is like tuna on steroids. Oh! It's still better than the Vienna sausage. It is still better than the Vienna sausage. Rachel's going in for round number two. Well, the thing is, is that the Vienna sausage costs like 79 cents. This was like $4. Yeah. So, like, leave it to Rachel. Like, I'm not wasting my $4. I'm not throwing it out. I'm not ordering this at a restaurant, but it's not terrible. Okay, we forgot to do this with the Vienna sausage, but I think everybody's going to know. We didn't do yay or nay with Vienna sausage. No. I'd rather starve. Just die. Eat your family. Sardines, yay or nay. In an emergency, will you eat the sardines? In an emergency, yes. So long as they're at least this good. Guess what day it is. <sighs> Potted meat day. Well, we have a couple of things because it's Thursday. And so it's Thursday. We've put it off long enough. We didn't do anything on the first, what, day and a half? We just wanted to enjoy our vacation and not have to taste these things. <laughs> right now. Dun, 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 dun. Potted, potted meat. Oh. oh my gosh. That that smells like cat food. Oh my lord. It, it You know what it is? It's minced up Vienna sausage. It looks like cat food. Tell me that does not look like minced up Vienna sausage. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh it is. <laughs> oh it is very loose. We really should have fro Oh my lord. We should have frozen that. Isn't that what they make chicken nuggets out of? Isn't that the pink meat they talk about so much? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, gosh. Oh, this was, this was the oh. dumbest idea oh, we have that. ever had. Oh, we got to dink it. Oh. You, wait, 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 wait. I have more than well, you. Well, who asked you to put a shovel's worth on your fork? Come on. Yeah. Ew, as we dinked it, it like... Oh, broke. I don't even have a drink here. Okay, ready? Oh. oh! How does it taste like tuna fish, but it's chicken and pork? Oh. Oh, the aftertaste, too. Oh. Oh, Ugh. Oh man. I feel like I just ate cat food. I feel like we could just leave it out and the bears and every all the raccoons would be like, no thank you. Oh good pickles. Wait, Ugh. no, I wanna drink some. Ah, <laughs> uh, That tastes way better. I wonder if your mom will eat that. I doubt it. She likes food that's good. She's not into like nasty food. Okay. Alright, let's what Clean what, it off. Clean it off. off. I'm not going to waste it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Ugh. Oh, man. I want to say, like, okay, it's just really salty, but it's beyond it's salty. 
Oh. Okay, so it wraps like a Christmas present. Deviled, deviled ham. It says it tastes great in tacos and quesadillas. Visit underwoodspreads.com. And again, it's in the 90s here. So, like, yes, it's it's not being refrigerated. So, like, all of the gelatinous goo is like water. I don't but know if I again, would feel better with gelatinous. In the event of, like, you know, not having electricity. We live in like, Florida. For, this, like, a is, hurricane. this is how we would be eating it. Okay, that doesn't actually smell too bad. It uh, smells better than the pot of meat. I know, but not... But no, it just smells different. Oh, gosh. You really have high hopes. Oh, wow. Oh, my god! No, 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 no. Get a bigger scoop there. This is like zombie apocalypse food. Ugh. What? It doesn't taste like ham. It tastes like a different kind of tuna fish. Well, no, it's, it's not. Got, it's not that bad. I mean, I I don't. I would never. I guess I shouldn't say I would never eat it because, like, if you're hungry enough, you're gonna eat anything. What is in that? We read it. It's it's minced ham up ham and seasoning. It's minced up ham. It's not the taste. It's the texture. Like, do you have trouble chewing? We've got the perfect after dentist treat. You don't need to chew it. You can just swallow it. Do you have a straw? You can just slurp it. <clears throat> I would like to stay. My meal plan at is least, keto chow over this. If I'm going to drink it. Okay, at least I don't need this to wash that down. I do. I mean, I. it doesn't taste great. <laughs> it doesn't taste great, but for me, it's a texture thing. It's, it's a very loose pate, and I don't like pate. Like, one of the reasons I could never get into caviar is because I can't deal with the texture of caviar. I, and I feel like this is the ham version of caviar. Hey, I love, you know, soupy stuff. It has to taste good, though. And again, it is 94 degrees out here, so it is, like, melty, melty. I have eaten so many cans of of chicken. I've eaten tons of cans of chicken in this climate and I've never had any problems. There's not with a it. lot of fat in chicken. This has got lots of fat. So this is there's two servings in this can or about twelve for us. <laughs> Seventy two uh, servings. hundred and eighty calories per serving, fifteen grams of fat and only eight grams of protein and one total carb. So, so it's got more than here's your fat bomb. If you're looking for a fatty you know whatever disgustingness? I don't know. Just eat a stick of butter. And I'm, in I'm this. just saying, like, for me, this is a texture. I could, I mean, it's ham with sugar in it. It's, but it, the texture is. I didn't taste anything sweet. The texture is just out there. Okay. As with everything, in the event of the apocalypse, die. I'm about potted to meet meat, Jesus. Potted meat. Get eaten by a zombie. No. Or eat potted meat. Go home to Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Deviled ham. No. No. I, I feel like deviled ham is doable. Maybe if it wasn't like so melty. No. But so I'm going to be leaning heavy on the spam. So far, I think spam is a definite yes. Sardines is an okay. Sardines was okay. I mean, we, we made fun with it, but Vienna it was okay. sausage? No. No. No, I'm starving. So we've got one left. We got one left. How are we going to finish this corn we're gonna, beef? We're going to end our vacation. Be kind. Just for you guys. We're going to end our vacation. My last bite. The at last the campsite. bite at this campsite is going to be canned corned beef. We love you guys. Corned beef. Last day. Last day. Here you go, baby. Here's the key to my heart. Aww. I'm going to use it to open up this disgusting potted meat. It's not potted meat, it's corned beef. It's meat in a pot. Okay. I saved some so that you can smell it. Why does all canned meat smell like dog food and cat food? That does not smell right. Am I right though? That does not Even smell right. Even tuna fish. Does tuna fish not smell like cat food? Yes. Okay, wait, we gotta get out a drink. Now, honey, I'm telling you, this is going to become a staple for our camping trips. A staple. A staple. We're gonna start bringing canned corned beef. Okay, so wait a second, slow down. I just wanna You're get over it. You're in a rush. It's day 
six of our camping trip. It's Friday, it's pack up day, but we had to finish the day with some canned corned beef. So I cooked it on the Blackstone. It kind of looks like corned beef hash. It's not like a slice, so it's just, but it's just corned beef. I also took hard boiled eggs I that really we got. I really appreciate this. And I took a slice of the Monterey Jack cheese. I melted it and yes. then crisped it up. Thank you. And then Thank put it on top of the egg. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm telling you, you're gonna actually like this. No Redmond's, no nothing on here, right? No. Think it. No. Needs salt. Needs salt. That's not gonna do it. <laughs> I think it needs salt. I need an egg in my mouth. Oh. Uh, thank you, egg. Can I have some Redmond, please? The egg is really good. The egg is really good. Bring eggs. Bring eggs on your trip. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled egg. eggs. That's good. This is a nice little hack if you want your hard boiled eggs and want it like heated up. So I take them, slice them in half, put them on the grill, yolk side down, then take some cheese, you can, and then put that this is good. on top of the griddle to start like melting. And then while it's still melting, take the egg and put it into the cheese. And then when you flip it, the cheese is actually melted into the egg. That's really good. That I want for breakfast. <laughs> Not that corned beef. Corned beef. No. Cor I like the corned beef. The spam, I would have to say as my conclusion, is basic that skip spam and the sardines mm -hmm. were surprisingly okay. Spam actually tasted good. If I crisp this up enough and put in some salt, no, no. Here's a here's a very crispy part. Okay, I will give it one more shot. I got a crispy part. I'm gonna put some salt on it because I feel like it is so humid here. Even our salt has started to like. If anything can save it, it would be Redmond's. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, oh, no. where's my fly gun? Thankfully, well, I have another egg. <laughs> well, that is going to be this episode of Keto Camping Fear Factor. Are you proposing that there are other things that we could eat on a dare? I'm thinking that we have another camping trip coming up in just eight days. And we should do a Keto Camping Fear Factor episode two. Oh my gosh. So do us a favor and down in the comments section, we're looking for five more things that we could try for episode two of Keto Camping Fear Factor. Please guys, suggest like canned chicken. So we're gonna take the top five things that are suggested down below. Now if we only get three things, then we'll do three things. Top five things, leave your comment down below. It's gotta be keto friendly and it's got to be shelf stable. So I would say it can come in a can or in a pouch, right? And it, can, it, does, it can't require cooking. That's gotta be the key. Like we're heating some stuff up, but it can't require, you have to be able to eat it directly out of the can or the pouch. What do you think? I think that's a terrible idea. Okay. If you like seeing videos like this, check out the video that we have right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head that way or you head that way, don't forget to head this way. Click subscribe. That way, every single time I have to eat something disgusting, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.